What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am at the pick and pole here in the local area and I'm gonna get a bunch of nuts and bolts for my A86 because as you guys know, I got it as a shell so I'm missing a lot of nuts, bolts and screws so I'm gonna try to get as much as I can today and then uh, just try to see if I could finish up the car with everything. If not, I'll come back and get even more. And uh, the best way to get nuts and bolts is actually from the junkyard. Uh, I'm not a big fan of all the junkyards here anymore. I feel like a lot of their policies kind of changed and stuff like that. And I just don't like how like strict they are with everything. It just doesn't give you a good experience anymore. So I haven't really been going to the junkyards. But if you guys like these videos, I'll go ahead and start making them again. But, um, but yeah, so I don't really come here for stuff anymore. I just buy stuff now. But uh, I still come here if I need nuts and bolts because it's like the best way to get uh, nuts and bolts in bulk. Uh, you, you can't really buy that anywhere else and it's very expensive if you do. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can today and then we'll go ahead and just see what we find today as well. So I'll see you guys inside. So here we are. We've got the Civic. Look at this spoiler. It's like a 326 ghetto style spoiler. It's actually a cord. Let's see what's in here. People hiding their bundles. Let's keep going. So far, there's not any old schools yet. I don't really think we'll see it anymore. I think I saw an older Tercel. Oh yeah, right here. All right, this works out. We can do this. It's a little, I don't even know what engine this is, but you should be able to use all of the screws and nuts and bolts from this car. So, I'm going to start stripping this thing up and see what I can use. Looks like it's pretty decent, so I'm going to go ahead and just start taking out nuts and bolts. You can see similar things are still similar to the 86 right here even this is very similar <clears throat> right here and the crank here is similar to um, so a lot of stuff is still pretty similar to 86 so I could use a lot of little stuff but let me go ahead and just start taking stuff apart Alright guys, so I took what I needed and hopefully it's enough. I actually got a lot of nuts and bolts, so um, that should be good enough. If I need more, I'll come and get it. What I really needed was all of the interior little uh, screws and stuff because I don't have any of that. And that's what I'm going to need to to do my to do my interior. And then um, I think I'm going to order the flows kind of like bulk kit because that's pretty nice and it has all the stuff to do. I think the main stuff in the car so I'm gonna order that and then all of the nuts and bolts I got today I'm gonna go try to get it zinc coated so it's gonna be all nice and pretty nice and gold and everything's gonna be brand new so uh, no screw it's gonna be untouched in this car and then um, that should be good so yeah hopefully I can find something else later maybe I'll hit up another junk and see what is there as well so let's go ahead and kind of just walk around see what's kind of cool around here and then we head out to another junk So there's nothing much here, just a bunch of Hondas and it makes me want to get one because no matter how old this car is, there's always old school Hondas here. Um, let's see. Oh, 
back here. Some other Civic. Kind of beat up, but there's always Hondas around. Always. There's a little lip kit right here. I think I saw a hatch here somewhere too. Nothing really interesting today. There's another Civic. There's a Toyota Camry. Pretty cool. And these are the ones you could. And these are the ones you could use. Um, on your 86 well I don't think this one but um, the older model cameras you can but let's keep going Alright guys, so my phone actually ran out of space, which kind of sucks. So I gotta go home and like remove all of my photos and stuff so I could record on this phone when I need to. So I'll probably end that today and then just go home and I'll see you guys at home later. Alright guys, so I'm actually back home now and let me unload all of my stuff and then uh, I'll show you guys all the nuts and bolts that I got. So here's a little bit of stuff. Um, I got these nice washers because if you have like something uh, to mount on your in, in your engine bay, um, it's a lot better and it's a lot cleaner. So what you do is you just put this in there, this little seal, and then it slides in there. And then you just make a bracket that you can put in, and it mounts a lot nicer onto your engine bay than just mounting it um, face to face. Here's some more bolts here. Okay, so this is all I got right here. It's uh, not that much actually, but it's enough to kind of start collecting. I think I'm gonna go uh, once in a while and just keep grabbing Toyota boats. So they might, they might not be exactly what's in 86, but at least they're Toyota boats and nuts and bolts that I could use uh, for my car, for my 86. And it should work because it's all Toyota thread, so it should be okay. Just gonna go ahead and send these in and try to get them zinc coated. And I have a bag full of nuts and bolts about this size too uh, for my 80s that came out of my 86. So I'm just gonna mix them all together because um, I just took it all apart. But I want nice and very clean zinc coated nuts and bolts so that uh, everything in this car, every nut in this car is gonna be uh, retouched and redone. And like I said, this is such a better way to get OEM Toyota nuts and bolts than trying to buy or like buying aftermarket style nuts and bolts from the store. So this is so much better. So got all these nuts and bolts here. Uh, like I said, the main thing I needed was these screws. So I'm really happy I got these interior screws. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go back and get some more because I feel like I didn't get enough or the right ones as much as I wanted. So these right here are so hard to find and I don't wanna buy them. Um, buying them costs like maybe a couple bucks just for a few so it's nice to get these for such a great deal at the junkyard and like I said I don't think going to the junkyard is worth it anymore just because you don't see any of the older cars that we touch uh, you rarely see 240s you don't see 86s at all anymore if you do it's already like stripped up before it even gets there and then um, yeah so it's really hard to find older cars all of the newer cars are just popping up now so I'm not sure if going to the junkyard is as cool as it used to be 
but there's still a ton of 90s Honda Civics and just Hondas in general. So I don't know, getting a Honda will actually be pretty fun because you can still go to the junk and you can still get stuff for cheap and do like an OEM plus build for your Honda. But uh, maybe I'll get one soon. But yeah, so just really happy about this guys. This is gonna help with the build a lot. There's uh, certain bolts that are really hard to get, like these right here, these specialty bolts, and these go to the lock on the door, um, the door hinge, and then there's just like other little nuts and bolts too, kind of like this steering wheel nut right here. These are very hard to find, uh, one that does this right here. And then that's it, so just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Um, I'm glad I got these right here. These are the seat bracket bolts, and these are very hard to find too. Um, ones that are Toyota thread and Toyota and Nissan is different so if you get a bunch of Nissan ones you're not going to be able to use it for your Toyota so uh, some of them will transfer over but for the most part um, it's good to go and raid these Toyotas because they're just going to be turned into liquid anyway so yeah if you ever need nuts and bolts guys go to your local junkyard just grab a bunch of nuts and bolts and it'll help you out with your build at least you'll have extra bolts and just uh, weird bolts that you might be able to use for other stuff and so yeah really happy about that let's go ahead and start working on the a86 today what i'm going to try to do is just sand down as much as i can take off all of the old um what do you call it take off all of the old seam sealer and then we're going to go ahead and start from there so like i said we're going to start from the engine bay i'm trying to grind off all of the seam sealer primer it and then just kind of keep going from there but i'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch first because i'm a little bit hungry and then we'll go ahead and start from there i think we still have a lot of daylight left so um i'll start after i eat my lunch but yeah really happy about today's haul guys i'm so glad i got nuts a lot of nuts and bolts uh i did a notification for the, the pick and pulls here and if an older toyota comes up i'm gonna go and raid it there uh when it drops so I uh, really want something like an A92 where everything's very similar and I could use a lot of those nuts and bolts and screws as well. Uh, something a little newer will have like weirder bolts now so it's good to find something in your era um, so that you can have the nuts and bolts from that car. But yeah let's go ahead and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys so before we start here is the bag of 86 bolts and stuff that I got. So here's some stuff that I kind of want to get zinc coated too. It's like this whole bracket here. So I'll probably send this in to go get it zinc coated. Um, hood hinge brackets, all of these. Um, I don't know what this is. There's this. Uh, I think they could get this done too. So just like coolant reservoir stuff. Um, these brackets, which I don't remember where they go to, but we'll figure it out. Some, another good hinge these I don't even know if I'm gonna put back in the car I don't know if I need to because once I because I'm not putting back on any because I'm not putting back on insulation so I don't know if I'll put these back on as well and then just have a bunch of bolts and stuff so these are some of the bolts that I've been carrying I might get my other bolt stuff to just put in with this mix and just get them zinc coated as well these are the bumper bracket bolts and they're hard to find now but some miscellaneous plastics that i'll probably take out with these uh, rubber bushings as well and just put them in another place so I'll probably take all these out uh, just like these take out this bushing and get this bushing zinc coated but yeah, let's go ahead and remove all of this stuff. And then I'm just gonna mix them all together because it should be okay. And then we'll just figure out what we need when we get when it comes to it. So um should be okay. Let me move all of this stuff. Let's pour this into here. Like that and now it's really mixed, so nothing I could do about it now. But should be good. Let me move these. I think that's all of the rubber stuff that I had to do. Uh, I don't know what this is. Should be okay. Yeah, so anything metal is going to be sent out. Um, 
I don't know. I should probably just hold on to these. These aren't really that important. So, I mean, they're important, but I don't really need to get it done. But maybe I'll just throw in a mix too. So yeah, let me get my other bolts and try to figure out where everything else is. Add it all to a mix and then I gotta figure out I gotta figure out where I could send it out to go get it zinc coated. I think there's a place near here that does it. So I'm gonna try to have them do it. Um, I don't know if they just do commercial stuff or if they do like project as well. So I'm gonna send it to them and get that done. And let me see, I only see one of these. I should have two of these. So I'll probably have to source this. I don't know where I put it. This is for the straps for the uh, fuel tank. So I don't know where my second one is. But should be in this mix soon. And hopefully all of this dirty, nasty, crusty, rusty bolts will be nice and gold once I get it back. And um, there's not a big rush to do this yet. I still want to collect some more bolts just so I have all the bolts I need to do anything I want and put everything back together. So I'm still gonna have to source out um, like drive shaft bolts and stuff cause I don't have that. And then um, do other little things. So I don't know where I could get the drive shaft bolts from. Maybe I'll just buy those online. I don't know if they sell it or not, but um, yeah, just little things like that, that I probably need like special bolts. Um, but other than that, I think I have everything to build my car and I don't even think this is enough yet. So um, one car could hold a lot. But most projects, you don't use all of the bolts anyway, so it might be more than enough. And I also have this right here. There's a bunch of um, a bucket of bolts. I don't know if this is it. try to find it but yeah let me go ahead and search all the other bolts that I need and then we'll go and put together then we'll go out there and work on this car all right I gathered all my nuts and bolts and I think I have enough to build the car now probably way more than I need now so it's actually a good thing and then I got all of these extra um, bracket bolts here too so here's a bunch here there's some that are actually really clean and then I got a bunch of the interior bolts from my 240 bucket here. And um, I stripped a few 240s in my day. So here's all the bolts from there. And I think these interior screws are pretty much the same. They don't look the same, but it should all work the same and it should be okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look up an industrial zinc coating place to do it. Cause I'm not gonna be able to do all of this uh, using like the DIY home method with the little wires and stuff. It's just too much bolts to do and I know you can send them out to get done So I need to figure out where I can send them out these I don't know what I'm gonna do with them Maybe just clean them up and then uh, just paint it or something or just go ahead and buy new ones Because I think it's still buy new ones So I'll probably buy new ones of these and then I want to get these done as well And I think it can zinc coat all of this stuff So they have ways to just uh, strip all of this with acid and then go ahead and just zinc coat it. It might not be the best finish because you won't be able to do it like real smooth, but it'll be better than not having any plating at all. And then, uh, yeah, just get everything done and real nice. And and I went to Home Depot and I got uh, this right here. It's gonna help me strip up the. It's gonna help me strip up the seam sealer. I also bought this for uh, hard gaskets and stuff too. So let's go ahead and start stripping the engine bay and then we'll see how far we get today and then we'll just go from there so i'll see you guys outside all right guys so i might actually end the vlog where i left it off at uh because it's a little bit long i kind of left it unedited i kind of left it unedited and a little more raw footage uh let me know if you guys kind of like that or is it really boring but um, it's kind of a lot of talking, but yeah, so I just want to show you guys that it was pretty cool today going to the junkyard 
Uh, maybe next time I actually bring the GoPro in so I could just get more footage and it'll be a lot better for me to just record off the GoPro instead of my phone. Um, the phone kind of exaggerates the zoom and so uh, I can't zoom out and you're like looking at me like this. But yeah, so I'm going to end it there and uh, thank you guys for watching. In the next video, I'm going to be working on Engine Bay and I got pretty far and I think you guys will like that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.